Hi, I'm Mishti Max and I'm here to share a get ready with me tutorial for the makeup I wore to the new James Bond movie Spectre. I was going for a general femme fatale look with harsh edges, sharp lines and strong colours. Plus I really wanted to try out my Back in Black Lit Cosmetics glitter and a different shape of eye makeup. First I prepared my lips with Bepanthan ointment so the matte liquid lipstick goes on smooth later. Then I primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot and the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, applying it all the way up to my brow and under my eyes as well so none of the makeup moves anywhere as I'm oogling the screen and I'm panning it in too. For an extra sharp line I'm using sticky tape as a stencil and removing some of that stickiness with the back of my hand then angling the tape up from under my lower lash line and up towards the end of my eyebrow and matching up each side. I'm using the lighter shade from my Inglot shadow in number 101R and applying that with the Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush for a matte skin toned brow highlight. Then I'm taking the original Naked palette from Urban Decay and using the Sigma E25 blending brush to pick up the eyeshadow naked and run that through my crease all the way from the edge of the tape into the inner corner. And I'm going back to take the eyeshadow buck to add more depth and shape to the eye. I'm making sure the neutral brown shadows are visible above my socket when my eyes are fully open and blending them down with the highlight shade. I'm buffing whatever is left on that brush along my lower lash line for a transition shade there. Then I'm taking the Inglot Matte Gel Eyeliner in number 77, mixing a couple of drops of their Dura Line in for a fluid consistency and beginning with the Sigma E65 Small Angled Brush, I'm applying that along my lash line, getting it all the way into the lashes and then taking it out towards the tape before bringing in a thin lip brush from the Beauty com to build up the shape. I'm using the gel eyeliner as an eyeshadow base and trying to create a solid villainous winged out form that peeks out above my crease with a round shape slicing over the lid and goes all the way into the inner tear duct where I also created an evil sharp point to elongate the eye. I fabricated a swoop on the outer crease, flicks up towards the shape, dips down and continues in a wave across the lid. I also took some gel eyeliner along my waterline up to about halfway and smudged it into my lower lashes with a cotton bud. I connected that up to the outer wing against to the tape and darkened up the outer edge. This kind of shape can take some fiddling about, but with the gel eyeliner fluid enough and a thin brush you can get both sides pretty even. I could have spent more time messing around with it, but I had somewhere else to be, so I didn't let myself obsess too much over it. I cleaned up any product off the inner lower lash line and sharpened up the tear duct point there with the lip brush. And now I'm moving on to Sugar Pill's Bulletproof Eyeshadow, which I'm patting over the lid with the small side of the Naked 3 eyeshadow brush. It's not like the eyeliner really needs to be set, but the black eyeshadow gives a fantastic matte black background and it's more about the finish and opacity of the lid. I took some of that black eyeshadow on the angled brush and went over the lower lash line getting it right into the lashes and buffing out the edge with the E25 blending brush. You could leave the eyelid here, but as I said I was itching to get out this Lit Cosmetics black glitter called Back in Black in size 3. I am using the Lit Glitter Base on the back of my hand to dampen the brush and press on the glitter all over the lid, getting a nice thorough coating of shimmery blackness. I'm using the same brush as before and I just flipped it over so I can get glitter all the way up to the edge and along the tape nicely. I used the Lit Cosmetics fan to dry my lids with my eyes closed to avoid the glitter creasing or clumping. I curled my eyelash as well with this open ended eyelash curler and applied MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara to my top lashes. I'm not wearing any false lashes with this look because I ran out of time but some nice giant winged out ones would look killer. Either way there's so much black going on and as long as your lashes are black it's fine. Next I went for the Urban Decay 24 7 eye pencil in Honey and ran that along the inner half of my waterline and over the inner lash line down fairly thickly up to that tear duct point. I merged it into the black and smudged it with a cotton bud. Back to the Urban Decay Naked palette and I chose the shade Half Baked with the Sigma E21 smudge brush and set that gold pencil, also blending that into the black with the angled brush. Then I decided to create a more defined line hugging the gold as well, increasing the elongated armored appearance to the eye. Then I'm taking the Lit Cosmetics Glitter in Mexican Lucky in size 2 with the Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and applying that with the same smudge brush over the gold area. I kept it sharp towards the inner point and faded it towards the black at the center. And it's time to peel off the tape and see how it looks. Now I'm removing some fallout and applying some mascara to my lower lashes but avoiding the very inner ones to let the gold shine through. 
I blended under the black a little and went onto my face and brows as usual. I'm using the Real Technique sponge for my foundation and a smaller dense brush for the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 to get around the eye makeup and blended that out with the pointy end of the sponge too. And I powdered my face with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light using the Real Technique setting brush and the Sigma Large Angled Brush. Then I took the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt to highlight my cheeks, Cupid's bow and nose using the Hakuhodo S113 Highlight Brush. And I've got this Clinique blush in Bashful Plum, which I applied in an angular shape with the Napoleon Paradis 20B Reflective Contour Brush from low down under the apples of my cheeks and up towards my temples. I blended the blush out with the powder brush and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I cleaned off my lips and began to outline them before I realized I needed to prime with MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base, which I've been forgetting lately. And then I went back to the MAC Pencil in Cherry to define my lips and give a guide for the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Red Rum, which I applied directly from the applicator after wiping off the excess product. These lips were awesome, not just because of the color, but also because they stayed on throughout all the fine junk food one consumes at the cinema. And I fan dried them between layers for smoothness. Then I went into my brow powder with the Real Techniques Contour Brush to buff that powder along the hollows of my cheeks, into my temples and around the sides of the forehead, giving a severe angled look to the face to match the eye makeup. I buffed that out with my blush brush and large powder brush so it wasn't too harsh and I also applied some powder down the sides and the end of my nose for a cohesive look. And after some hair fluffing, that's the end of it. So that's my evil looking femme fatale makeup, where I had some fun with solid blocked shapes, a splash of gold to liven things up, and my favorite use of bold lips with bold eyes. I love this blackest of black glitter because it adds a lot of reflection, but holds on to that depth of blackness. Plus it's awesome because it's named after the ACDC song. This look wasn't inspired by the movie per se, but I just applied a general villainous style to my makeup for the persuasion of a villainess. You can find all the details to the products used in this tutorial in the description box with my affiliate links too. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this dark glittery makeup tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, also check out my band and podcast on iTunes.